Yeah, no, delighted to be back um, and good to see the players all back in pre-season. And, you know, we start the campaign and it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not long after the old campaign finishes and then we start the new one. And obviously we come down here to get sort of 10 days good training and get the focus right and the mentality right and get some good work in. And, um, but pleased to say, I've seen the players after sort of six weeks, seven weeks, um, they're in good condition. Um, which normally players are nowadays, but it's great to see them and they're really good, Nick. And we've had a good couple of days here so far and um, now we continue to work today. Tell us about Newport and the decision to come here to, to start off pre-season. Yeah, no, we, we've, we've come down here because I just felt that um, with uh, certain restrictions this season, with obviously the, the, the COVID protocol and everything else, I just thought that this would be a, a good venue for us to come down. Um, we'd sort of done a recce on it in the, in the summer after at the end of the season. Um, and the facilities are great. Um, you know, I want to thank the Welsh FA for for allowing us to come down here. We've got two magnificent pitches, um, and it's a nice location. And what's added is the weather's out today as well, which is which is great. But um, it just allows us to get a real focus on and get some real work in and and um, and start putting things together um, for the for the course of the season. What's 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 in front of us? Like you said, we're here for ten days. What are you hoping to see from the players in that ten days? Yeah, no, for them to get rid of all the, obviously, the, the, they've been away for the, the, the break. Um, so when you get back in here, you get rid of all the, 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 the rustiness, so, so to speak, and just top up their fitness levels, really, um, and get their bodies in a, in a robust state, really, to deal with the demands. And that's a, that's a steady build-up through the six weeks of pre-season. Uh, and then, obviously, you've got the games that come along, which you, which you try and um, get some sort of... Um, rhythm and some fluidity to your play and clear understanding as well really so uh, I think initially the first couple of weeks is about getting a base level fitness and I think that's the, the main thing that we're focusing on is that we're getting a base level fitness without um, um, sustaining any knocks and injuries I think that's the biggest thing that you want to do when you when you're in pre-season. The lads seem to have come back in good spirits as well. Must be nice to see. No, no, really good. Uh, and and for me personally, it's great to see them. Um, and I'm really happy to see them back in um, and getting work with them. And as I said, you know, looking at some of them, that the condition. Not to say they were ever out of condition, but some of the the um, the condition that they've come back in has been excellent. What we've got to do now is we've got a pre-season plan in pl in in place, and um, we're carefully going through that plan and and everything's measured out in terms of what we want the players to do and the volume of training that we want the players to do. So um, each and every single day, um, there's things in place now that uh, for the players to to do it individually and collectively as a group. And, um, and at the moment, the, 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 the last couple of days have been excellent and uh, we get into sort of day three now. There's obviously a lot of different ways of going about pre-season. There's a lot of running involved as, as always, but the ball has been out. The players have had a chance to, to get the ball out. What's the thinking behind that so early on? Yeah, just to get work, just to work with the ball and get used to the ball. And, and I think as well as that, um, a player can be, you know, a professional player for years and years and years. And you know, you can have like sort of six or seven weeks off and not touch the ball. And you wouldn't believe that um, just to get the touch and the rhythm and sort their feet out and position their feet and body to receive. And you know, all those have got you've got you retrain the body. You you do switch it on after a couple of weeks. You switch it on. So to get the ball out early doors is good for them to uh, get a feel of the ball. One thing they can't legislate and go away from is the running. You know, you need that. And um, you know, anybody says in pre-season that they're not running, then it's not a pre-season really. So they are going to be um, physically. It's going to be a demanding pre-season for them. They know that. Um, and it is what it is. It's 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 in order. To, you can't get away from the game without having that fitness levels really and um, we're no different here at uh, Wednesday in terms of making sure that the boys are uh, physically ready. Mm. Got a new addition in Adriano Basso, tell us about the decision to bring him in and, and how he's settled in so far. Yeah no Adriano's been really good, Adriano's been somebody that I've known for many years um, and somebody that um, has a um, tremendous appetite for the game, loves football, um, uh, wants to work in the game and wants to implement and uh, use his experience to give to, the, to our younger keepers here. And um, I just wanted to bring him in because, um, you know, we, we want to develop our keepers that we've got here. We've got an excellent uh, crop of keepers here. 
and we just feel that we want to um, continue to develop him. And Angiano's a worker, and that you know, but um, he's out working him on each and every single day. And what'll happen with them? They'll build that relationship in terms of going forward. But um, real, real good man, excellent uh, individual, and um, really pleased to have him on, on board with the team. And um, I'm glad that he's accepted to come here. And you know, we get our heads down and work towards um, an exciting. Um, league campaign was ahead of us. Some of the younger players have, have joined the first team as well and coming here. It's a good chance for them to impress us in it early on. No, I wanted to see them, um, irrespective of the, the size of the group I was going to bring down here. It's really important for me to see the younger players because I, since arriving at the football club, I've seen them and um, I've seen some of their ability. And what I wanted to do was get them down here over these 10, 10 days and really have a look. And what they will do. They'll get, they'll get the opportunity to work with the seniors and they'll get the opportunity to play in pre-season games with the seniors. And um, it's over to them, really. Um, but I've said to them, if ever they've got an opportunity to, to stake a claim in um, Sheffield Wednesday's first team and play football on the front line, then now's your opportunity. So it's a big um, couple of weeks for them, really, in terms of when the training, working with the seniors in training, but also playing in the games um, to see and what they're about really but I'm really excited by them and as I said some of the signs what I've seen them in the last couple of days have been promising uh, and they've just got to continue it. It must be good to see the likes of Dome Ofa back, uh, back in training and, and Massimo Luongo as well it must be great to see them back. Yeah and the two names that they almost feel like two new signings for us if you like because uh, to have them two back um, it's been great uh, we've been managing them um, in terms of sort of the first week to two weeks because of the length of time they've been off. And again, their training schedule is they're in with the boys, but parts of it, they're detailed to step out of training um, in terms of not overloading them too soon because they've been off for so long. So it's really integrating their bodies back into training on a on a steady basis over these next couple of weeks before we really let them go. Um, but at the moment, it's wonderful to have them there. Their appetite and desire is there for all to see. They're good players. And um, I think they're just delighted to be alongside their teammates and be on the training ground um, uh, playing football again, really. And we're delighted to have them back. So uh, long may their, their um, sort of physical conditioning uh, come back to you. As I said, both of them are fine, but it's just the volume we've got to control at these early stages of pre-season with them.